Yo, 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 we live on location, New York City NBA Draft Week. We got with us a special guest, the blackest one over here on the right, on the left. He's not a special guest, he always was. Special guest is University of Indiana's own Jalen Hood Shafino, man. We appreciate you pulling up, young fella. Yes, sir. After the draft is over and all that, who you look forward to either playing against, whether it's a team or a player? You've been growing up watching the NBA for so long, so who who you look forward to playing against? Uh, we getting spicy right out the gate. <laughs> 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 um, probably Kyrie. Kyrie. Mm. Yeah, I think growing up, you you're a fan of like obviously his handle, the way he can finish, and things like that. So. You hear like every rookie going to the league say who the hardest player to guard. Everybody say Kyrie, so I think getting out there with him, I'm, I'm gonna be happy about that one. So you oh, want to try and up. guard that? Yeah, for sure. I like that's that. Charlotte, North Carolina. We just heard the big man and sold most of the stakes in the in the Charlotte mm-hmm. team. But Charlotte, North Carolina, you went to three high schools. But yeah, then you went to Mount Verde. Mm-hmm. You know, just we, outside. We stay in Orlando, we live in Florida. Orlando. Okay, okay. We stay in Windermere, so we know we very very familiar with Mount Verde. Right. What made you make the decision to go to Mount Vernon and play for their school? Yeah, I mean, my goal was always to get to the NBA, and I've been watching Mount Vernon since I was a little kid, and you see, like, every year they got NBA players uh, mm-hmm. producing. So uh, for me, I just wanted to go there, challenge, play against the best high school players, and going in as a junior, I played, like, seven, eight minutes a game. So that was, like, that was tough for me, but went back my senior year and everything and won a national championship, so it was, yeah. it was cool. Did you bring your family with you, or you just went yourself? I was by myself. How was you that? You went from North Carolina to Florida yourself. So how was that? Yeah, I'm like I'm real close to my mom and my sister. So I mean, leaving there, leaving home, and going to Mount Vernon, it was it was tough. It was mm-hmm. tough at first, but I mean, you know how it is. Once you adapt and get used to it, every everything else is cool. Do you feel like it gave you a sense of maturity to, to yeah, make that move that early to have to? kind of want for yourself yeah for sure for sure i mean you living on your own for real i mean yeah. obviously it's high school so it's a little bit more structured but for the most part you don't got mom and you can't do things for you you gotta do everything on your own so i think it helped me though for sure yeah indiana could have been anybody else that <laughs> that got you that, i mean that almost slipped in there and got you before indiana my top Ooh. two was indiana and tennessee but mm-hmm. once i met coach woody the rest woody. of the staff and then went went on my <laughs> visit it was pretty i told my mom like yeah, it's the it's it right here. Did uh, him being a a former NBA coach and have NBA experience, did that have anything to do with your decision? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like you said, him having that NBA experience, him being a player and a coach, that was definitely like the main thing I was looking at. And then once I met him, got a feel for him, done deal. <laughs> done deal from that. Do you feel like? Because I feel like watching you play, he put you in NBA type situations. Do you feel like that? I mean, you won't know till you actually get there, but just from playing and what you've seen, you feel like he helped prepare you for what you're about to go up into? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, yeah, college is different, obviously, like it's a different ball game, but I think he definitely introduced like that NBA style in, in a way yeah. to us. And, you know, me being a freshman, he, he allowed me to have the ball in my hands, make plays and things like that. So it was a great experience. I know it's only been like a month or two since you kind of left school, but what is something that you got from last year that you're going to take with you? going forward into the NBA? Um, I mean, a lot of things. It was, I think just the main thing is just staying even kill. Like, it's a season of, like, ups ups and downs, and mm-hmm. you about to go into a new season where you're playing, like, 80-some games, obviously, so it, it's going to be a lot going on. So I think this year, uh, like, we won some games, lost some games, so I think just staying even kill like that. That's probably the main thing. Yeah. It, it said you spent time this summer working out with Paul George. How was that experience for you, you know, working out with a, a NBA all-star type player and, you know, all NBA type player like that. A smooth game, like uh, yeah, smooth. Yeah. yeah, I actually worked out with him last year. Um, before college, I went down uh-huh. to LA, worked out with him, and everything. But this year, being down there the whole pre-draft, he's been in there, uh, recovering, getting his stuff in. So, uh, yeah, he, he like a big bro. You could talk to him, ask some questions, and everything. So that was great for me. How was your workouts? Like, uh, how many workouts you had? Yeah. Did you have many? In which one, that you felt you did like the best job? At? I, I had five workouts. I had Utah first, Toronto, Detroit, Orlando, and I finished off with of Washington. But so you had to go to Toronto? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You ever been in Canada? That was my first time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how was that just going through customs and, and all that stuff? 
No, nah, it was crazy because like I didn't even know you had to do like all the extra stuff. So I, like, kept, I, kept, I kept having to ask people, like the uh, like the people work there like like I'm supposed to go over there. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So that nah, was cool though. But no, nah, it was it, it was nice there. It was nice. Yeah, yeah, kind of dope. Do you feel like like in any of those particular workouts, like man, I like like which workout did you feel the best about? If I'm being honest, <laughs> I, I I I kill all my workouts mm. outside of outside of one of them. And it wasn't like I didn't do good. It was just, you know, I was missing shots. It was just like off day. But for the most part, I had a I had a really good pre-draft run. Did you have any, like, weird experiences, weird questions that they asked you no, no. <laughs> during this whole process? You was like, yeah, why they ask? Luckily, I didn't. But I heard, I was talking to some players, like, they were saying like, they was getting wild questions. But I feel like for me, like, they didn't really have to ask me too much. Like, I, got a, I got a clean, clean record and everything. Like, they didn't have to say nothing that, that was, like, uncomfortable. So it was cool. How was the experience of playing in March Madness? Yeah, like, I was uh, just how you go into the conference tournament and then going into the experience of March Madness. Y'all being one of the teams, yeah, that a lot of people feel that can win the championship. How was that experience for you? It was surreal because like you obviously grow up watching March Madness and watching all the games and everything. But I think getting down there, I think just to like the level of focus and attention to detail was just you had to be locked in and ready for the matchup. But now, it was fun, and I mean, we obviously lost second round to Miami, who ended up going to the Final Four. So I ain't wanted to end like that, but you know, it, it was it was fun. Yeah. When you first got there, like, were you one of them guys that came in with the mentality, man? I'm, I'm trying to get up out of here as fast as I can, one and done. Or did you, you know, did you foresee yourself being at this point, this, you know, after this season, or were you somebody just like I'm just going in, open minded, and seeing how things fall and play out? No, nah, my my mindset and my goal was definitely to go in there and be a one and done. But it wasn't like something that I was going in there, like forcing it, like, oh, I got to right. do this and that. I just went in there, I worked, I was myself, and, you know, that's kind of how it led me to be here. Straight up. Hey, listen, this is what I like to know, man. I want to feel like this is the draft. You didn't watch this. Like you say, you're a historian. You didn't watch NBA draft after NBA draft. We all dream about it playing growing up. Like, have you envisioned what your moment will be like or how you, what you going to do when you run up to the commission and when you get drafted and get your name called? <laughs> I've been trying to think about it, but it's, <laughs> but it's hard to like really say how it's going to be. But I think it's definitely going to be emotional. Which I, I don't I don't want to cry or nothing, but just thinking about I feel like it's gonna it's be okay like a flashback. To cry, man. It's okay. To it's, cry, it's gonna man. be like a flashback. Of tell, everything. Tell, tell them your draft right, so day story. It's about either, it's either you <laughs> crying think about, or not, but how you gonna greet him? Tell them how you, you gotta greet think him. about when you walk up to the commissioner whether you're gonna shake his hand and give him a hug. Yeah. So when I got drafted and I walked up to the commissioner, I gave him a hug and kind of grabbed the back of his head. And yeah. Show a little bit more love. So you grabbed his head. You, which what his hand. You do. Would you, you you grab him like one of the Marlon Wayne's type hugs or would you just give him some love or would you just <laughs> shake his hand? I don't, I don't think I'm going to grab his grab his head. What did he say to you when you <laughs> grabbed his head, though? He said, be cool. <laughs> he said, be cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was, I was excited, though. I was happy to say I, I feel it, He though. was my new friend. Yeah. You know, the commissioner is going to be your new friend, so yeah. you definitely oh, want to greet him the right way. Right. <laughs> so what you don't decide? I ain't gonna do that, but I'll probably, you feel me, give him some love, bring it in a little bit, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna grip his head, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. Who all did you bring down to the draft with you? Pretty deep this year. Okay. Um, and they changed the rule at the table. You can have like 10 people, so get to have more family and stuff with me, but yeah, I got a, uh, I got a group down here with me. Group down here. How is it to see your mom and see your your siblings and, and all that just be amazed of being in New York and experiencing this with you. I've been loving it. Like, and uh, this might sound crazy, but in a way, I feel like they more happier than me. Like, just all yeah. the sacrifices <laughs> they made and them being in the gyms when I was younger, and now it's kind of all starting to pay off. So, yeah, that they've been enjoying it, and it's been making me even even more happy about it. Oh, so, when you first get your check, what do you want to buy your mom? Definitely got to gotta do something to thank her for. All of them dropping off at practices yeah. and supporting and all this stuff. What's something that yeah. you had on your mind? Like, man, I'm gonna get my money. I'm gonna get my mom this. Yeah, I don't, I ain't really think about what I'm gonna get her yet, but like for sure, when I get that money, something's definitely going to her and my sister. I just Straight gotta figure up. out exactly what it's gonna be, but for sure, I'm, I'm gonna definitely get them right. Straight up. Hey, I want to know when you, you know, this is a big part of the privilege for you to get to come to the actual New York and go to the draft, like. What was your process of picking out the fit and how are you bringing it? How are you bringing it for the draft night fit? I ain't going to say like too much, but 
I'm doing I'm doing something that I ain't seen before. I'm doing a green a green velvet. Okay. So. Green. Oh, you coming like Jaffe Jaffa. Like brand new money. <laughs> what is this? This is this beautiful. This, yeah. What is this, Velvet? What, what is, is he gonna ask him the question. Is, is the he... ankles going to be out? The ankles going to be out. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> now we are officially two and two. We got look. That's even now. Ooh, y'all boys know y'all love to have them ankles out, boy. He coming. He coming. Jaffe Jaffa. With the anchors out. Hey, man. Okay. From previous drafts, is this anything that, uh, since you at the draft and you going through this whole experience, is this anything from previous drafts that you, that stick out in your head that you constantly thinking about and remember? Or uh, a, a player getting drafted or something? I, I go last year's draft, just seeing like uh, Jaden Ivey, like how, how emotional he was when he got drafted. Like yeah. that was kind of, that was kind of dope to see. You see yeah. he was passionate about it. He was, he was excited. Mom, that was, that's yeah. probably the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, though, this is life changing, man. So that's why I say it's the okay to cry moment. Nah, for sure. Sometimes, for sure. you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, you get a mo- little emotional. I think you cried, Q, didn't you? Oh. Embrace mm. whatever happens, bro. I didn't cry. <laughs> you didn't cry. Don't listen to this guy. But just, <laughs> just, you know, enjoy and feel. It's, this is the best time before the next best time in your life, bro. Like, for real, this is. This is the pinnacle of what every hooper want to do. Like every person you ever knew gonna be watching or see somehow on TV. And this is, this is your night, bro. Just enjoy it. You and your family. You worked your ass off to get here, and you deserve all of the stuff that come with it. Enjoy it, then get back to work. For sure. Is there any place that you want to go? That's on your mind that you're thinking that. I just tell you, it's 77 <laughs> degrees in Jacksonville, Florida, baby. I don't nah, know where he want to go. And I ain't no team now, but it's nah, nice there right now. There ain't, there ain't really a team specifically. I just want to get drafted, obviously, to the to the right fit. I think that's the main thing. Just fit somewhere I can go in and kind of make an impact right away, develop. All right, man, that's been a wrap, man. We appreciate the young boy, Jalen Hood, Shafino, pulling up, man. We yes, wish sir. you the best of luck in this year's draft. And we're going to be watching and waiting to see where you uh, – Land and see how you put it down, man. Don't act brand new when we come get you for the big show when you really blow up, big fella. (laughs) Straight up. Knuckleheads live on location, New York City.